Example 2 says we should calculate the sides marked x and y in the figure below. Now we have a right angle triangle. Let me call it ABC. Where AB is given to be 12 centimeters. BC is given to be... Okay, let me put this as D. We have BD to be 5 centimeters and DC is given to be 4 centimeters. We also have AC to be said to be Y and AD is given to be X and we are asked to find X and Y. We shall apply the Pythagoras theorem in solving this. Since none of the angles are given, we can easily use the Pythagoras theorem that states that the square on the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So if you consider triangle A, B, D, which is this, if I should sketch it out, we have triangle A, B, D to be this. This is 12 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. And this is X. This is A, B, D. Now we have the hypotenuse side, which we are asked to find, which is the unknown. So we already know that x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared, reason Pythagoras theorem. So what is x? We shall then simplify by saying x squared is equal to 12 squared is said to be 144 plus 5 squared is said to be 25. x squared is given to be 144 plus 25 gives us 169. And what is x? x is said to be equal to plus or minus square root of 169. And x is equal to plus or minus 13. But we shall take the absolute value since we are dealing with distance. So x is equal to 13 centimeters. What about y? How do we get our y? If you consider triangle ABC... In triangle ABC, we have it to be this. If I'm to sketch it, this is A, B, C. We have this to be 12 centimeters. Now, B, C is said to be the distance from here to here as against A, D, that is 5 centimeters. So, B, D is said to be the sum of 4 plus 5, which is given to be 9 centimeters. So, B, D is given to be... 9 centimeters and we are asked to find y. We shall then apply the Pythagoras theorem. In this case, we are also asked to find the hypotenuse side. So that means that y squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared. When you simplify, you have y squared to be equal to 144 plus 9 squared is said to be 81. So that y squared is equal to 144 plus 81 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 8 is 12. You write down 2 and carry 1. This gives us 225. So y is said to be plus or minus square root of 2 to 5. And when you take the absolute value, you have your y to be equal to 15 centimeters. So we have gotten our value for x. And our value for y where x is 13 y is said to be 15. kindly like our videos as you watch why we recommend that you subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded you can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult to you also share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from this project you can also follow us on facebook at my lesson teacher math and also on TikTok at my lesson teacher. We shall then take a third example.